Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Murphy and it's time for reading. For today's lesson, you're going to need a couple of things. First, you'll need your HMH workbook. Then, you'll need a pencil. Last, you'll need something to color with. Go ahead and pause the video and get those items. When you're ready, press play. Once you're ready, you can take those items and set them to the side because I'll let you know when you need them. But to get started, we're gonna talk about problem and solution. So I need to share my screen so you can see what I am looking at. All right, so on this page, I have our anchor chart that talks about plot. Everyone say the word plot. Good job. The plot is what happens in a story. And sometimes a plot has a problem. Uh-oh, that smiley face right there looks like he's having a problem. And then some stuff happens in the middle, but then at the end there's a solution. Can everyone say the word problem? Good job. A problem is when something goes wrong. For example, if I forget my backpack at home, that's a problem. The solution is how you solve the problem, how you fix it. If I forget my backpack at home, I might ask a friend to borrow a pencil. That could be how I solve my problem. So today we're going to think about how stories can have a problem and a solution. We're going to do that by looking back at our story. Oops. Naked mole rat gets dressed. I really liked this story. So let's start by thinking about what the problem in the story is. And to do that, we're going to need to go back and reread some of our book. So I'm going to read a couple pages. And while I read, I want you to be thinking, what is the naked mole rat's problem? What is going wrong? Be ready to think about that. There's so much to learn about the fascinating little creatures known as naked mole rats, but for this story, you only need to know three things. Number one, they're a little bit rat. Number two, they're a little bit mole. And number three, they are all naked. Well, they were, with one exception. Wilbur, the naked mole rat, who liked to get dressed. Wilbur says, hello. Ew, yuck. What are you doing? Said the other naked mole rats. Hmm. Remember, I said a problem is when something is wrong. I want you to tell somebody in your room or even your favorite teddy bear what is his problem? You know, I'm thinking that this book said all naked mole rats are supposed to be naked and he's not naked. So for him, it's a problem that he has clothes. The other naked mole rats seem to kind of make fun of him for it. All right, now you need to get your supplies. This is where you need your pencil, your crayons, and your workbook. Go ahead and open up to page number 22. If you need to, pause the video while you get to that page. On this page, it says, the problem in a story is something that goes wrong or causes trouble. And in this top part, it says, draw the problem and naked mole rat gets dressed. Now it's your turn. I need to see that you can draw a picture of what the problem is. If I was going to draw it, I might draw a picture of Wilbur wearing clothes and the other mole rats not wearing clothes. I can't wait to see what your picture looks like. Go ahead and pause the video until you're done. When you're done drawing the problem, you can press play. All right, 
now that you're done drawing the problem, we need to talk about the solution in the story. That means we need to find out how did he solve the problem? How did he fix it? Let's look at some other pages in our story to find out. The naked mole rats marched right over to Grandpa and told him all about Wilbur. And then he asked, why not? Grandpa was very wise. Hmm. He thought seriously about everything he had heard. Ah. And then he thought some more. Hmm. I wonder how he's going to help solve the problem. Finally, he said in her heroic, regal voice, gather the colony, I shall make a proclamation. When Wilbur heard about Grandpa's proclamation, he knew it was serious. A proclamation, a proclamation, a proclamation. Uh-oh. But he had no idea what to wear. In the end, Wilbur decided to play it safe. Maybe not safe enough. The others were so busy looking at Wilbur's socks, nobody noticed Grandpa enter until he cleared his throat <clears throat> and proclaimed, Fellow naked mole rats, I had never worn clothes until I heard Wilbur's simple question. Why not? Why not indeed? Do clothes hurt anyone? No. Are they fun? Well, they may not be for everyone, but this old naked mole rat wishes he had tried getting dressed earlier. And then he complimented Wilbur's socks. Boys and girls, how did Grandpa help solve the problem? Tell someone in your house or your favorite teddy. You're right. I think he solved the problem by wearing clothes himself. He helped Wilbur feel better and show the other naked mole rats that it was okay to be different. All right, now it's time for you to get your workbook back out turn back to that same page number 22. And the second part of the page says the solution is how the problem is fixed or solved. It's your turn to share the solution of the story. Draw a picture of how grandpa helped solve the problem. When you're done, take a picture and submit it to Seesaw so I can see. All right, I'll see you later. Bye everybody.